Hey everybody, my name's Marshall. I'm a 41 year old digital cinematography student with Full Sail, currently residing in Colorado. What's up guys? My name is Izzy, uh, real name Islam Farmas, New York uh, resident. And um, yeah, also a mem uh, student from Full Sail University. Uh, Sabrina. Hi everybody, my name is Sabrina Anae and I'm also a music business major and I live in New Mexico and I'm 24 years old. Hi everybody, my name is Richard Zacharias. I'm retired uh, US Army. I'm currently enrolled at Full Sail and I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. What's up future Full Sail alumni? This is Randall Gim. This is my second month here at Full Sail mm -hmm. University in the online sports broadcasting program. And I'm excited to give you some tips on to succeed at Full Sail. One of the first things that a lot of full sales run in, a lot of full sales students run into are the problems that come into balancing life and school, the challenges that happen to you as you're going through and learning different materials, maybe learning a different way of doing things. This is actually my second time going through full sales digital cinematography program. And the two things that I learned the most are patience and perseverance. First of all, you got to be patient with yourself. All right. You have family needs. Maybe you're married. Maybe you're single. Maybe you have kids. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're working full time. Maybe you're not. Please be patient with yourself. Understand that there is a need to balance your different responsibilities to include the responsibility to yourself to have some fun, relax, blow off steam, but also persevere. Life is not going to stop throwing obstacles at you. Life is not going to stop hitting you with negative things. In the end, you can either move forward with life, taking the time to do what you need to do, or you can let it run you over. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'd like to see every single one of us succeed. I'd like to see the rising tide raise all ships. And that is why I hope you guys remember to be patient with yourself, but persevere through the difficulties and challenges you're going to experience. Amen, brother. So on that amazingly positive note, I'm cynical. I'm going to tell you guys to be selfish. Um, why? Um, so a little bit, a little bit more about me. I'm 27 years old, so kind of the youngest one here. Um, but uh, I've experienced a lot of hecticness in my life and everything like that. And usually people say, "Oh, you have a good heart and stuff like that." Don't mistaken kindness with weakness. Um, growing up, I was weak. I always just kind of caved in to everyone. Um, and then when, when like life hit me hard, I it, it just collapsed on me because I was trying to hold like the burden of the, like the world and everything like that. So when I tell you guys to be selfish, it, it means like I'm not trying to tell you like, hey, screw you guys, screw everyone here, but kind of telling you to remember this. This is your career. This is your life. I've um, take some time. Take some time for yourself because that's kind of what I did. I always listened to my parents say, you should become a doctor, not being a doctor. It's going to let you guys know that right now. I spent a whole lot of time trying to make someone else happy uh, when in actuality, I was never happy. And Full Sail was my first kind of like legit stand saying, I'm like, you know what? Digital arts, digital media, that makes me happy. And I'm going to do that. And uh, so far it's been the most success that I've had with school and everything like that. Um, so but yeah, that's a little bit. So let's move on. Sabrina. Okay, so I just wanted to touch on grit and what that means to me. So grit to me would be sticking through what you said you wanted to do despite everything that's going on. Um, I'm I started college right after high school and it was just crazy. Like I balanced school, I could not balance um I just couldn't balance everything. So that made me start failing my classes. I wasn't motivated. Full sale, I feel like is a good starting point for me because um, it's just not as overwhelming as regular school. So I really love that about it. It's flexible. Um, okay, so then I wanted to tie back into what Marshall was saying with patience. You just have to be patient with yourself. Like he said, um, there's just things that are going to happen to you throughout life and um for example in high school I my, and um there was when I turned eight I had this really crazy fire accident but 
I still pushed myself to go to school because I was like, this is what I want to do, blah, blah, blah. At first, I wanted to be a mortician. And I've just always had a thing for music. And I never really pushed it until this like year. I was like, you know, that's what makes me happy. So tying into what Izzy said, um, you just have to be selfish as well and make sure that you are doing everything that you want to do as well as just balancing out everything and making sure you're making yourself happy. All right, Richard here again. Uh, so I actually wanted to talk about teamwork. You know, as a former military member myself, uh, teamwork makes a dream work and you're at full sail. You think that you, you're showing up to college, uh, but the type of college that everybody's signed up for, you know, being full sail, it's pretty much a team industry that you're trying to get into. So, uh, don't be intimidated to speak up and use your voice and don't be timid. Uh, you know, uh, we're all here for a reason and networking is uh, number one key, I believe in this industry. The more people you know, you know, I'm I'm going to school as a game developer. I'm gonna need, you know, somebody to draw me my stuff. I'm gonna need somebody to write me some music. I'm gonna need somebody. It's all it's all a factor together. So the, the second you learn to work together, and have that team mindset, school is going to be a lot easier because you can get, rely on not doing your homework together, but you have somebody to fall onto like, hey, man, I'm a little lost. What can I do? What what should I do? Or, hey, when we have our discussions, you know, every every time you're doing something in, in class here at Wholesale, you're, you're constantly working with somebody, getting feedback from, from students. So, you know, just, just think about that when you get here. Don't be scared to uh get advice ask the teachers you know administrators network network is key the more people you know the the better you're going to be out there something you don't know somebody will know thank you before joining full sail i was straight out of high school and thought i could save some money by going to community college and it just didn't feel right. It never felt like I was a part of a community, never felt like I was connecting with other students in my class. And Full Sail was immediately immersive and they wanted me to feel welcome. They are ensuring that I finished my application. They're asking me how my first, second, third week of school is going. And this is all virtual, this is all remote. So it's very astonishing to see how Full Sail can show that level of care in a virtual concept. And the way it's developed and the way it's been put together is something that gives me hope, gives me faith in myself that I have people backing me. I have people that I can go and talk to and really makes me feel comfortable and confident so that I can continue to do my best and give forth my full 100% to even be a part of a team or to be patient with myself or to be selfish in terms of me taking me in priority so that I can focus on what I need to learn and forget everything else. Also, I was hesitant to join Full Sail and now that I'm in it, I wish that I would have done it a lot sooner. So if you're still hesitant, you're still on the fence, push through and you'll be able to enjoy your experience just as much as you put into it. Whatever you put into it, you'll get out of it. And I'm giving it my 100%, earning 100%, and I think I'll get 100% back out of it. All right, thank you very much, guys. I'm gonna ask everybody just to leave with one last thought. My last thought for you guys, um, I'm actually going back to the reading material here. Uh, <laughs> Angela Duckworth uh, describes grit as having passion and perseverance for long-term goals, worrying about your future, not just for this week or this month, but day in, day out for years. You have a amazing wealth of talent just right here. We have a number of different career fields right here, both in our personal experience and academically. Stay the course, future Full Sail alumni. Stay the course. Mm. I actually want to end it on a, a little story about grit. Uh, a lot of people, all of you guys don't know this, but I used to be a business-to-business -business sales. Uh, 
which is literally the definition of, hey, dude, you're going to go outside every single day and knock on random people's businesses and say, no, like you like you're literally going to eat nose. But um, it was, dude, it was hell. Uh, it was it was torture, uh, but it was really weird. I remember my first month doing it. I was every single day. I was literally just coming back kind of like, oh my god, another no, another this, another. Th-. I got so sick and tired of hearing everyone's man, 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 like BS and everything like that. And at a certain point, I don't know what what happened, and this kind of actually changed me for the better. Uh, a certain light bulb clicked in my head and saying, dude, I don't care. I like I don't know you. Like you like if someone tells you like no or like denies you or says something, don't let it get to your head. Because all you're doing is just carrying all those no's with you. And uh, and the more no's you carry with you, it's gonna get heavier. So one mentality that we always were doing was leave all the negatives at the door. So you walk into a place, if you get rejected or anything like that, it can be pretty much anything. Um, work, school, or breakups or anything like that. Leave that rejection at that person's door and then move on and then continue your life. Once you start, once you start thinking about their life is when you start screwing up your life. So that's the main thing about grit that I always love is it's, it's, it's all about you. So... Leave your nose, leave the BS at the door and move on to a brighter future and move on to a, like a doper life, the one that you actually want to live and everything like that. So yeah, that's my little story. Okay. Yeah. Um, so my end note, I just want to end on saying that you just have to believe in yourself because at the end of the day, you're your biggest fan and you determine what you can and can't do. So if you're sitting there saying, I can't do I can't do that but you're gonna that's what your mind is gonna believe and you don't want that so full sale is more than helpful like with asking how your classes are going you know just making sure you're you're comfortable as a student and you reach out to the liaison team you can reach out they reach out to you it's it's very helpful when you are off you know on and off the fence about should I do this should I do that um so I just want to say make a plan, follow it, and yourself because your your biggest you know what you can do. What you can do. Amen. All right. Yeah. Um. Oh, I want to end it on uh, life's too short. You know, be, if you're passionate about some, you know, the world could be a scary place. Don't be intimidated. Don't be scared. Put your best foot forward and and give it your best shot. You won't know unless unless you give it a try. You know, there's a lot of people out there that don't have the opportunity and if you're watching this or you're listening to this, it's because you're thinking about it. So just put your best foot forward. Good luck. Boom. Yes. I don't know if this is gonna get cut or not, but I always like to say, stop being a bitch, let's do it. <laughs> 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 like real talk. <laughs> when I think about models for success and failures, I think of the late great Kobe Bryant. And he personified the Mamba mentality. And that being going at what you love with full relentlessness and going at it 100% and not leaving anything to pass. And he did that with his failures, with his successes. And he also mentioned that you know that you're in your passion when you enjoy the journey and when you're enjoying the little pieces, you know, for example, with basketball, you enjoy rehabbing through injuries. You enjoy tinkering with your shot until you feel it's perfect. With Full Sail, you enjoy doing the little assignments. Um, there's three core classes that you have to do before you get to your major specifics. I love doing these little classes to make sure that I'm prepared for my major specific classes and that really proves to me that I am in the right place and so once you enjoy the little moments building up to your great successes you'll know that you're on the right path and like Marshall said before stay the course Thank you. that was awesome that was great
I was very happy that it was the Kobe philosophy was not about basketball because I was going to be like, uh, you would have literally see me check out. Like, 